listening and thanks for watching. And I'm Eugene Daniel. And I'm Lauren Langer. Man, what a game Bradley played today against the Michigan State Wolverines. They faced off in a very competitive game against the Spartans, but their dance is now over. Oh, unfortunately, it was a heartbreaker. While they kept it close and even led the game at halftime, they eventually fell 76 to 65. We have team coverage of the Braves' trip to Des Moines, Iowa. We start with Matt McLean, who's in studio with a recap of the game. Matt. Yeah, Lauren, Eugene, the Braves came out ready to play in this game. They went mano y mano with Michigan State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Head coach Brian Wardle had his team fired up before tip-off. A beautiful pass here to start the game. Daryl Brown drops a dime to Elijah Childs for the lay-in. Then Brown's going to dial one up from downtown. The deep three-pointer is good. Bradley will take a 35-34 lead into halftime when Metamora's Nate Cannell drills the three-pointer. And an upset is brewing at this point. Second half, Braves out on the fast break. An emphatic one-handed jam from Childs. The Braves are still in it with 10 minutes to play. Daryl Brown was great. This is a three-pointer deep this time. I mean, that's practically from Peoria, folks. The Braves led by one with seven minutes to play when Child scores here. But Sparty ends the game on a 22-10 run. Bradley will fall short. Michigan State wins 76-65. Ending the Braves' magical postseason. And we'll have much more on the game coming up on WMBD Sports at 5.50. Oh, an electric game. And while the Wells Fargo, Fargo Arena rather was uh, electric itself during the Bradley versus Michigan State game, many Peoria businesses hosted some watch parties to cheer on the Bradley Braves. And Matt Sheehan joins us now in the newsroom to tell us about that excitement that the fans had while watching that matchup. Matt. Yeah, that's right, Eugene and Lauren. Braves fans cheered on the Bradley Braves on from a variety of local businesses, hoping for an upset victory. And even though that didn't happen, the fans still believe the Braves fought hard and kept it close the entire game. But in the end, the Braves season comes to an end after a 76-65 loss to Michigan State. Many fans traveled to Des Moines to cheer on the Braves, but for those who couldn't make it, they enjoyed cheering on them from local businesses. I'd like to tell them thank you for representing us so well and for being such great gentlemen uh, and, and really giving us pride for Bradley, for Peoria, for Illinois. And everyone was watching. They were on the edge of their seats. And as the Braves kept the game close, they were even leading 35-34 at halftime. Good season to the Braves. Lauren.